Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to do a beautiful Chanel spring makeup look. The season is blossoming and warming up and I have some new and old favorites from Chanel and I also have some items that have been very elusive but I've seen recently that they are restocked. I am talking about the tweed palette here, the number two tweed pulp, this beautiful peachy purple palette. It is currently restocked on the website, so we're going to use that. And also, one of the new Rouge Allure Velvets, this beautiful peachy color, is also restocked. So we're going to go ahead and use these today. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. This is the Tweed Pulp palette here. As you can see, it's soft. It's purpley, lavender, peachy. It's very lovely. And when I saw that it got restocked on the website, I thought to myself, that is a beautiful purpley springtime palette. And I know when it came out, some people didn't like it, but I think you have to appreciate it for its softness. It's Chanel. It's not Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's going to be subtle and sweet. And so we're going to go ahead and play with that today. Everything that I'm mentioning today, products, all things like that, they are listed in the description box down below. Please go ahead and use those affiliate links. So I'm using the dual ended brush from Chanel. It's the blender and shader. I'm going to go into this lighter purple shade with the fluffy side here. And I will just lightly sweep this on the lid. I remember when these tweed palettes came out, it was like a fever dream for months. There was so much gossip going around of like, these won't be available here, they're only coming out there. And then I believe they came out worldwide, but it was a little tricky getting them right away because they did sell out so quickly. And then there were whispers and rumors that they were going to come out with the tweed blushes again. And I've never seen anything else. People talked about them, that they were going to come out and then nothing else happened. So I don't know what's happening there. But as you can see, I'm just sweeping this liberally here. I'm going to mix the purple and the peach together. I think these hues to me scream springtime. Anything pink, purple to me is spring. I know it's not exactly groundbreaking, but sometimes you just have to go with what works. I'm dipping into a different dual ended brush. This one here is more for defining and I'm going into this brush here because I really want to pick up this lighter color here. Just packing this on and I'm placing this on the lid. And I'm focusing it a bit more on the inner part of the eye and the center as well. Now I'm flipping to the more tapered side here. I'm going into the slightly darker purple, just a little bit, and I'll add a touch in the outer corner, really just a whisper of it, and drag some on the bottom lashes here. I added just a little touch of black waterproof liner in the waterline here in the lashes. And then I have a little sample of the Noir Allure Mascara. I have tried out the full size. Honestly, at first I didn't love it. I thought it was too wet, but then it sort of dried down and I liked the texture more. So I'm just going to use a nice black mascara. But if you had purple, this could enhance or just sort of lean into our soft purple look here. For the complexion, I'm going to mix a couple of products. I have the Le Blanc Pearly Light Drops. These are so pretty. It's a liquid highlighter, primer. You could put it underneath, on top, mix them together. It's pearlescent. Ugh, it's so pretty. It's a little bit pinky, not too much. Very lovely. I'll just take a little bit. I might take more as well. So I just sort of place it where I would naturally apply highlighter and I like to layer it underneath. You can apply it on top as well. If you had a cream blush, you could mix a drop of this and then add, and then mix it with the cream blush together. I have seen that done, which looks nice, but I think for me, 
I always like to layer underneath because I'm always concerned that layering on top is going to shift everything around. So I'm just adding some here, maybe in the center a little bit. On top of that, I'm going to use my Water Fresh Complexion Touch. This is the shade 40. I love this. I love the Water Fresh tint in general. So it looks like this here. I like to sort of break it down on the back of my hand and then apply it. This one covers more than the original. This one might be a little bit dark for me, actually. I might have to mix this. I have two shades. I also have the 30. So I have the 30 and the 40. I'll put them here on the back and you'll see the difference. They look a bit disgusting at first, but I swear that they look beautiful once you apply them. So I like to break them down like this. And then I just take some, and then I take the product on the back of my hand here, and I apply it. So maybe I'll take the lighter color, and I'll put that on the center of my face. And then a little bit of the darker one will go on the periphery here. Using the Touch Up Face Brush, I'm going to mix these together. This is an excellent product for moisturizers, skin tint, really any sort of complexion product. So even though these are two colors, they really just, they mix together quite nicely. It depends on the season. I got the 30 and the 40. I think these came out in the summer, maybe May, June, so I'd had time to <laughs> go outside and get a little bit of sun. And originally I was using the 30 as a concealer because you can use these as a concealer. They are just like a massive glass of water for your skin. They offer more coverage than the original Water Fresh tint, but that isn't saying very much because the original is a skin tint. It's like a blurring primer in a way, but I love it, especially for summer. I like either one, they're just so natural so luminous and radiant and just very very healthy looking if you want your skin but better this is definitely a product for you for the concealer i'm going into my sublimage concealer corrector i use the shade 32 it has a nice peachy tone to it so it cuts any dark circles anything like that blending out with the concealer brush so even though the rest of the makeup is lighter I always go in for a heavier concealer and I, I don't want to say heavier because it's not heavy. It just, it covers really well. You know, for me, there are two categories of makeup that I don't want to waste my money and time with. That would be concealer and mascara. For me, those are two products that I never want me but better. Like I want me but better for complexion, but I don't want a mascara that looks like my lashes. I want one that looks much better. If I wanted no mascara, I wouldn't wear mascara. And the same thing with concealer. I want it to be natural looking in that it isn't crepey, it doesn't crease, anything like that, but I want it to cover. For me, those are two categories of product that always have to perform like makeup. I don't want to, like, I don't want people to look at me and go, oof, she's wearing concealer. But, sorry, there's a car honking outside. You know what I mean? Like it needs to perform well. Moving on to the blush, I'm going to use the one that came out in the Winter Les Beige collection here. So this is the beautiful Les Beige blush in Rose Polaire, so a polar rose. This one is pink, but it has the slightest gold shift to it, so I think it'll be perfect. And I'm using the blush brush here. Now this is a softer blush, so you can go ahead and pack it onto the brush here and i'm just going to tap it on the uh, pearl drops that i applied before they're very subtle like you can see extra luminosity i mean everything that i'm wearing complexion wise is very luminous but it isn't um breaking up anything it's really just playing nicely and even though the pearlescent light drops are more not silver, but like a bit more cool toned, like a milky white pink. I think that it still goes very nicely with this. And then this goes with the eyes. And then this will also go with the lips here in a moment. I cleaned off my blush brush because I'm going to use it for my face powder. This is the Universal Loose Powder in 30. So the reason I like to use a blush brush for a face powder is because I don't always want to powder 
my entire face. Sometimes I want to just powder certain areas. So I'm just taking some of the powder here, knocking it off, and I'm just going into the center here, around my nose and the T-zone, and then underneath the blush and on where my concealer is as well. So I, 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 I like these types of like blush brushes for powder because it's just more concentrated instead of everywhere really. For the lips, let's go into the beautiful Rouge Allure Velvet here, the 7 a.m. color. It's peachy, it's pink, it's very fresh, and I think it's perfect for spring. If you want to, you can take your lipstick like this on the back of your hand and then just take a little bit on your finger and apply it on top of the apple here. We didn't apply any powder here, so it's not going to mix. If you do cream, powder, cream, it can get a little cakey and pick up a little bit, but I avoided this area here. It's just going to add a little bit extra freshness, a little bit extra rosiness to my cheeks. And I think this is the uh, final look, but I have to add a touch of fragrance. I'm going into my Mademoiselle, but I like the Coco Mademoiselle Eau de Toilette. I know that the Eau de Parfum is very popular, but I prefer the Eau de Toilette. I think it's fresher, it's lighter, it has more lychee, more fruit notes. I find it a bit sweeter, so that's what I'm wearing here. And this is the complete look, the final look. Let me know what you think. I'm very happy that every now and then Chanel restocks some of these favorites, like the number seven, that one sold out so quickly, but usually when it's a true restock, not just a marketing ploy, it does take several weeks for them to actually get more products in, like in factories and in locations. So now that it's here, I mean, I'm filming this on Monday, Fingers crossed that by Wednesday, it's still on the website, but I'm happy that this is here and I'm happy that the Tweed Pourpre Purple Pinky Peachy Palette is also available. Again, it's not going to be a very jarring purple palette. It's just very subtle. I like it. I like it for what it is. I think it's soft. I think it's sweet. And for me, this screams like springtime in Paris. I look like I'm wearing makeup, but I don't look like I'm wearing makeup at the same time. That's one of my preferred ways to wear makeup. So if you've made it to the end of the video, please make sure that you are subscribed. A lot of you who watch me are not subscribed yet, and a lot of you who are subscribed sometimes get unsubscribed. So if you want to support me here on my channel, make sure to leave a like and leave a comment as well. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.